And hello everybody and welcome to Re-Legend. Uh, this is Rabies. Uh, Shades is not with me today. Uh, he will not be with me for the majority of these uh, playthroughs. Right now this is pre-alpha version. Uh, so let me talk to you a little bit about this game before we get really into it. Um, this game was kickstarted a while back. I want to say a little over a year ago. And uh, I joined into the fray. Uh, I purchased the mods, or I don't remember, it was like, mm, it, it was it was the tier where you get both plushies mailed to you because I really needed both plushies. Anyway, so everyone who had a beta, um, everyone who paid for a beta, uh, got the alpha version. I don't remember specifically what the uh, reason was for that. I remember like something happened or they said like due to... Due to waiting so long, we wanted to be like, hey, here's this. I really don't remember, honestly. I'd have to look into it again. Maybe next episode we'll hear back from that. But <clears throat> So uh, here we are, pre-alpha. Uh, actually, I booted up this game yesterday when it first came out, recorded an episode, realized it was 11 p.m. and I was slurring most of my words and I really couldn't put that one up. So I might show some scenes while I'm talking right now just to give you an idea of some things to come. Uh, but I noticed booting this up, there was a small update. Uh, I can now put this in window and I also have the option to select, um, quality, uh, graphic quality, which is great because before it, I think it was as high as it could go and my computer didn't like it. Uh, so I turned it down one notch, uh, and now my computer's super good. Uh, the mouse movement's very fast. I was really happy with that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit new game for this. Um, I'm actually really super excited now because I'm already seeing like, hey, there's already been like an update to make it move a little bit better, uh, which is great. Um, so about this game a little bit, it's uh, kind of has that Harvest Moon feeling, but also a little bit of uh, monster collecting. Um, so the monsters in this game are called Magnus. I don't know if that's plural or not, <laughs> um, but they're super duper cute. Oh, it's a little laggy here. It's probably from the rain. Um, I, it could probably use another graphical tune down. Uh, let's see. Let me pick my clothes. Um, I've already gone through these a little bit, so I'll, I'll give you a little, a little preview. Um, so this is your boy's hair. Your boy's and super cute, all of them. Um, and then you have your your female's hair, your girl's. Super cute, super adorable. Um, my favorite one is this one up here, but I, I'm gonna play as the boy because I really like that ponytail. I, or pony, not, uh, ah, I don't know, man bun? I'm not sure. I don't know what you would call it. Either way, I'm gonna go with this one. Love the eyes, love the hair, everything's fine. Uh, let me just pull out my... Uh, here we go. Rabies. Because everything's rabies. Everything has rabies, everything is rabies. Immediately into this scene. Already has an enemy. Already hate him. <laughs> Whoever pushed me. Already hate him. Um, so there we go. Already thrown right into this. Um, I'm really looking forward to this game. I really love Harvest Moon, and I really love monster collecting games, because uh, OCD. <laughs> I have to gotta collect them all. <laughs> uh, so this is Papa Pia Penguin. I flipping love him. He's adorable. Him, I guess. Yeah, Papa's usually for a him. It looks like something washed up to sea. Uh, so so far, um, this being pre-alpha, and I've very seldom play any alpha games, let alone pre-alpha. Um, I mean, I barely even do beta games, so that's that. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I don't know specifically what I should be looking for or not looking for. Um, I think I want to say pre-alpha is for um, major mechanics, so I don't- I can't expect like certain things to be perfect. Um, I feel like that's more for the beta access than alpha, uh, alpha or pre-alpha. Um, everything's really well. I'm impressed. Oh, thank you for being impressed. Uh, Edna is, 
You'll see. <laughs> At this rate, your mysterious flotsam will be limping out of here as opposed to the crawl I initially predicted. What a good nurse you are. Um, that's fantastic news. I knew I could count on you, Edna. I'm sure the kid will be just fine. Uh, if we're being optimistic, walking may even be in the possible, uh, be possible in the poss- I want to say in the realm of possibilities, but that's not what's written here. Um, at a leisurely pace. Sweet. I might be able to walk again. Or scuttle out, I'm not sure which. Um, what's happening? Oh, and your protagonist is, uh, not mute, which is great. I really like that. I know, like, you always want to, like, put yourself in the game, but I'm so sick of a mute protagonist. It's not fun anymore. Oh, looks like you pulled through. Sweet. Where am I? <laughs> it's a question you're gonna hear a lot. Is like, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. You're at a hospital in Voka Village, or Vaca. I'm not sure how you want to pronounce it. However you feel is right. I'm gonna go Voka because I like the sound of it. Um, three days ago, you were baking on the shore in front of my house. You weren't moving and thought you were dead. Uh, since you just came to, let's start with an easy question. What's your name? Um, now, my theory is that your name isn't rabies. Like, your, well, your name isn't what you put in. Um, I have a theory that that's actually the name of the person that threw you or your friend or so, like someone close to you. And, uh, you don't remember anything, so why would, like, your name be, like, a specific thing you remember? It's like, no, no, I feel like it's, that's not even your name. And they're gonna give you your name later. Um, I can't remember. I'm trying to, but nothing comes up. How inconvenient. I had so many questions. Well, I suppose there's nothing more I can do. Get out. Just leave. You may, you may leave now. Get off my bed. Hurry up and crawl out. Um, dear God, Edna, I know you're a brilliant nurse and all, but you gotta take it easy on the kid. I don't think she's that brilliant if her initial thought was I'd be, like, crawling out. Um, oh, and the text does that weird thing still. Okay, cool. Um, if they put too much text on the board, um, if I don't click it, it'll slowly shrink the text and move it and displace it, and it's very distracting um especially if you're like actually reading what they're saying and you start to like zone into it and then all of a sudden the text moves and you're like whoa <laughs> it's really weird um uh, another thing i wanted to point out and i really hope they implement it if they don't it's not a big deal if they do it'd be awesome uh having different characters or major characters have different sound bubbles when they talk like um when their text appears on screen as, as it's coming out, like have different uh, text sounds, um, either in the rare style if they want to, but that's I feel like that's more work, or the Animal Crossing style where everything's just either a faster paced uh, text or like tones or things like that. I feel like that would be easier. I know how to move and I know how to interact already. Uh, like I said, I recorded this last night, but it was 11 at night and I was slurring and I, I sounded really bad. <laughs> Um, I also want to keep this fairly kid-friendly uh, because this game really is for everyone and even though my channel can be a little bit crazy with language and such, um, I do want to make sure that the uh, creators of this game, uh, Magnus Game Studio, I believe, uh, I want them to be able to watch this and enjoy it and actually, you know, get information out of it like, oh, this is what they want, this is what they don't want, instead of hearing a bunch of F-bombs being dropped every five minutes, <laughs> which I was doing last night and realized just re-recording is easier than editing all of that. Um, I was going to do like cute little Magnus sounds, but I was like, no, nah, it's more work than it's worth. <laughs> um, so this game being like Harvest Moon-ish, uh, the map is very big. Um, everything is very far away from each other, and you do have stamina, so it's a little bit daunting. I do believe you get a Magnus early. I haven't played far enough yet. Um, I only played a half hour. I think you get a Magnus early. You can ride them, uh, so I believe that's going to be the main, uh, form of transportation, because everything's so far away. Um, what I hope to see in this, uh, scene, um, 
that's like trying to show you the town is a little bit slower and they give you the name or the functionality of the building they're showing you uh, just to make it like a little bit more clear. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead down here. Uh, running does take away stamina, which is kind of, I don't like. Um, I know in a lot of, uh, a lot of Harvest Mooney games, they've been doing that a lot where running takes stamina away. Um, I'm not a fan of it just because that's usually all I do is run around. <laughs> so uh, sometimes if I get bored, I'll just run in a circle and I'm like, oh, I can't. I have to leisurely jog in a circle. I don't like it. It's like, uh, but it is what it is. Um, there's probably like, there's probably a game balancing reason for that. So I'm not going to like complain too much until I get farther in the game and there's still no reason, then I'll start complaining more. But until then, I don't know. Um, so this is your mayor here. He uh, looks like he's got fangs coming out of his mouth because of his white beard, like the beard, the little white bits. Um, greetings. Uh, I am Mayor Maku. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Aside from putting me in a nurse's bed that doesn't like me, um, you've done nothing much else, so I don't know why you're thanking him. Um, I'm saying um a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gotta, gotta put a dollar in the jar every time I say um. Uh, I'm feeling much better. A little achy, to be honest. Um, I'll go with this one. How wonderful it is to be blessed with youth. You look like you've never had youth in your life. You are old. You popped you popped out of your mom old. <laughs> you popped out of your mom mom with a walking stick like eee, my back. <laughs> um Magnus, what is that? I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong cuz it just doesn't sound right to me. Oh well. Maybe maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I have no idea. I'm just going to continue pronouncing that until somebody proves me wrong. <laughs> um, let's see. But so far, uh, everything seems to be working fine. Um, off camera, I do plan on trying to break the game to see, like, is this working? Is this not working? Uh, can I get stuck in this wall? If I hit the menu too many times, is it going to crash? You know, things, simple things like that that someone might accidentally do, as opposed to force. Um, because I feel like some things happen at random and you just have to keep trying to do it until it happens. And other things, like, might just happen if you really force it. Like, I'm not going to put this thing on beautiful, go into the most laggy area, and then keep hitting my menu button until something bad happens. Because that, like, that, duh, something bad's going to happen. I'm, I'm overrunning the game. Of course it's not going to work right. But, um, if... If I'm just in like a regular area and I can get stuck in a wall, like that's that's something that I need. Um, I'm not gonna try to help, but you're gonna ask me anyway. So, so Amelia is uh, lost. She didn't come to the rescue, and knowing her, she should have like been there with her herbs she was collecting, and she wasn't. So they're like, oh, something must have happened to her. So you, who had just gotten out of recovery, has no training, doesn't even know what a Magnus is. You go help her. Alone. By yourself. Go on. Get. Uh, so now they show you how to open up your inventory, which I have to look at my keyboard for because I don't remember where I is. Oh, I still have to get through this though. There we go. Um, there. So this is your little inventory. I really like the look of the inventory, honestly. Um, your character just continuously moves. That's a little frustrating. Anyway. Um, go ahead and put your stuff here. The symbols up here are a little bit, uh, confusing, because you do have a full, like, you don't have just a shirt. You have, like, it's a full thing, but I don't know if that changes later. Like, if you can just change, um, like, if you have, if you just have, like, your base pants on and you have, like, a powerful, like, chest piece or something, that's by itself as opposed to, like, a set. Um, I don't know. But it, it confused me for a minute because I was like, oh, where's my shirt? Oh, here's a full set of armor. That's not a shirt. Nope, 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 nope. 
Turns out I was being silly. Um, I tried these last time, very close range, and I don't know how to dodge. I know how to dodge, it's spacebar. I just, I'm bad at dodging, so I don't know how to dodge. What is this for? I need, I need to be told what these are for. It's not clear, I don't know. Can I like, can I this? Oh, no, nope, no, nope, that's okay. I don't know. I don't know what this one's for. I guess that's like a, not like a, just a random item. Like here's a charm, it does a thing. I don't know what these are. I wish it'd be a little more clear on that. I'm sure it will be later on. Have faith. Cause this menu already looks like really good. Gives you, gives you ideas of what's going on. Ingredients, edible, helmet, body armor. Oh, okay. So it says it here. It just doesn't say it there. Okay. All right, cool. All right, let's get in. Let's get in on this. Just got out of the hospital. Just met the mayor. He is already very demanding. Can I swim? I can, all right. I can walk <laughs> through water. I'm like reverse Jesus. I can walk through water instead of on top of it. I gotta sneeze and it's, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. So we're gonna slowly make our way all the way over here. Um, let me show you the map real quick. Um, I do hope this gets updated a little bit. It doesn't show you where on the map you are. It shows you which section of the map you're in. So I do hope this changes because I did get a little bit lost my first time running around. Um, not that it isn't terribly clear, like, hey, if you go up, you'll eventually go this way. If you go down, you'll eventually go this way. It's it's more like I got stuck in a small thing and I'm like, I don't remember which direction I'm facing anymore. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. Even though the camera doesn't move, I, I was like, I'm unsure anymore. Could have been because it was late at night. Either way, um, I would very much enjoy if it followed you specifically. Um, I hope I can eventually zoom in and out of this mini map here because I don't need a up close map I would like a I'd like to zoom it out a little bit so I can see a little bit farther in front of me um, oh hello it's the eighth already when I played last night it was the seventh I wonder if starting a new game it still doesn't uh... Like, I, I wonder if it took from my saved game, like, what time it was. That's interesting. That's, that's very interesting. I will, I will check back on my recording footage and see if it starts where I ended last night. Because if that's the case, that is a bad glitch. That is a bad glitch. Um, get away from me. <laughs> I ship my character with her already. That's, yeah. I'm gonna go all out, full glory. I love how my hair clips through that <laughs> headband. It's great. That's fantastic. Uh, so this, I wonder if it's still gonna do it. I'm gonna wait a second and see. Um, this tutorial, the game is still moving around me. Last night it was. I don't know if it's still gonna do it. Oh, it doesn't look like the Magnus are coming towards me. Oh, here they are. That's awesome. I, I, I'll have to check it later then. Um, I'll check and see if I'm not concerned with the damage I'm taking. Now I'm concerned. Um, I'll have to see. I'll start a new game later without saving and just check. Because last night it was, like, I got my butt kicked because I was busy trying to read the tutorial really fast. <laughs> and, like, they just came at me. I can't believe we made it. I wonder if they fix that by just having the models like stay still or uh, not still, but like they don't activate until you walk a little bit closer. If that's the case, that's a fair fix, but I don't know if that's going to be the best fix. I think the game should just pause when you're in a tutorial or any kind of menu. Um, yes, I thank you for saving me. I, I don't know what happened. I've never had trouble with the Magnus here before. I, I was just picking some wild herbs. I know, it's not how you pronounce it, I just like to. Herbs, and then the belly flops attacked. Oh. <laughs> I love how they call things in this game, it's adorable. Uh, but wait, how rude of me. Uh, the text is a little slow, I don't like it. Um, 
I hope in the uh, settings there'll be an option to speed the text because uh, I don't like just clicking through either. I, I would like it to just kind of come out as I'm reading it, but it is very slow as it is right now. Um, so kind of like how in the Pokemon games there's like, you know, uh, slow, medium, and then like fast text. Um, text? <laughs> like text uh, next word? No, that's it. There's That's all. Um, so I would, I would like to see that. And these are just like really small technical things. Again, probably not something that Alpha even deals with. So for all I know, they have that um, in mind. I just, again. <laughs> all right. Oh, I love her braids. I didn't even know her hair was in a braid. Oh, I love her. I'm going to marry her and make the prettiest babies. We're just going to make a baby. Like, we're just going to have, like, a cauldron out, put some ingredients in, and a baby pops out. We're just going to make a baby. Uh, it looked like there was something wrong with them. Oh, no. What could have been wrong with the Magnus? This, 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 this is... They didn't like her dress, I bet. Magnus didn't know what, what a cute dress looks like. They got upset. They got... They go about their business, and I go about mine. It's usually how that goes. It's usually how everyone lives their life. <laughs> uh, situation is worse. It looks like uh, the coastline isn't safe anymore. Rest assured that we'll be able to carry on with our regular cozy lives. I don't know. You're slowly losing territory that you can go in without being harassed by Magnus. I feel like your cozy life is coming to a close end. Um, I gotta stop saying um. It's just it, it's part of my vocabulary now. It's like having a... It, it's like typing a sentence and putting a period that's my um my um is the end of the sentence or the start of a sentence it might be my capital letter uh stare oh my goodness that's right we found you on the side of the beach and you probably don't have a home to sleep in right ah i gotta look good as a mayor so i'm just gonna you know what i know exactly where to put you an abandoned sh sea shack <laughs> don't worry you can pay me back by fixing it up so that the home values go up around the area. I just cracked my wrist. I don't know if that's gonna show up or on the audio track, but it's fine. It's cool. All's good. Uh, truly a tranquil little place. Do you not agree? Um, my eyes go freaky out like that because it's probably not as cute as it looks in this image. It's probably like a broken down... It's got a bed. It has a bed. It is pre-bedded up. Actually, no, the inside looks really good, which, uh, I mean, a lot of things do this, so I'm not sure if I want this one to do it. It would be super neat if they were like, hey, your house isn't in great condition and you have to fix it up as you live there. But a lot of games do that and I'm kind of like, you know what, can I just have a nice house for once? And you just poop it to bed. Oh, look at that. Little poop. Love it. It's so cute. Your sleeping position's adorable, by the way. I can't get over that. Like, this is gonna be a drawing one day. It's adorable. Uh, so this is your ghost friend. I'm gonna call him Casper. <laughs> Casper. Rabies! I'm a sleepy sleep. I'm a sleepy sheep. I'm a sleepy peepy sheep. Oh, I leveled up! Sweet! I wonder if it's because I didn't die this time. I died last time. <laughs> Like I said, the Magnus attacked me while I was reading the menu. So this is your sleepy, sleepy bed. Um, you can sleep here, rest. It'll go to the next day. Uh, as most animal... Animal Crossing. As most... Um, yeah, sleep here. As most uh, Harvest Moon type games, uh, you want to go to sleep before 2 a.m. the next day. Or else. We're not sure what happens yet. It hasn't happened to me. And they don't tell you specifically. What's this? What does that mean? Oh, am I he- Oh, if you're just in your house, you heal. That's pr I like that. That's pretty nifty, unless that's not what that symbol means. But that's what I'm taking out of it. That's what I'm taking away. Oh, here's this guy. Good morning. Did you rest well? I slept heroically. I slept heroically. That's- I like that. Ah, excellent. That's good to hear. I wonder if things change based on what you're saying, or, or else like there's no reason to be selecting that. Since you may be staying here for a while, let me show you around the farm. It will help you feel more at home and make you more familiar with the layout. Uh, yes, please. 
I do enjoy tutorials. So, um, so I guess they're gonna show me the farming aspect. Ooh, this looks good, actually. This looks like super good. I like this. Um, there's an old farm plot. As you can see, the previous owner left it in quite a sorry state. What happened to the previous owner? Uh, we don't talk about it. <laughs> there was a Magnus incident. Don't worry. You know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, if you have some time and uh, the will to clear out the plots, uh, you can grow your own crops and eat, and eat or sell, whatever. The town could always benefit from a steady supply of crops. Speaking of which, um, this is a oh God, it's just type faster a shipping bin. Uh, place anything you wish to sell in here. Come pick it up in the morning. Oh, Gunther does that? Huh. All right. Man of many skills, I guess. Everything you put in here will be delivered in town to be used or consumed, so be sure not to place things that you need or want to keep. We will take it, no matter what. We won't question it, we'll just take it. Uh, well, that concludes the tour of the farm. <laughs> That's a small tour. Um, here are some tools to get you started. Cool. I didn't see what the tools were. I will not force you to take care of this place, Rabies. It's entirely up to you what you wish to do with it. I'm just handing it over to you. However, keep in mind that the land often generously rewards those who care, uh, who put care and effort into nurturing it. So, okay. I don't remember if this was a thing that, like, you could do- you could just, like, purely, like, go out, gather things, or go fishing, or farm, or dungeon- dungeoning. That's a verb. Um, please pay the town a visit once you have settled in. I heard Amelia has been looking forward to speaking to you again. Uh, perhaps you should pay her a visit soon. She is in the northeast of the farm. Quest accepted. Cool. Um, oh, your farmland needs cleaning up. Press F to clear farm trash and left click with the tools to destroy stumps. Oh, next. Uh, for farming, left click with the hoe. I hope these are like somewhere I can find again. To tell the plot and equip seeds to the left belt, uh, tool belt, uh, the left click on a till the plot of land seeds it. And then we're gonna water the plot. Make sure you care for them with water and fertilizer. Okay. That's a lot to take in at once, but, um, not bad, not bad. It does a good job of, like, showing you. Um, I'd like to physically be able to, like, be, t like, be in the tutorial, right? Like, where they're like, now do this. Okay, click. Alright, cool, now do that. Click. Cool. Um. Obtained fern. Obtained fern. Obtained fern. Obtained rabies. No. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So that's that, and then... Um, how does one... Oh, there we- oh, ah. Oh. oh, what's this? Oh, it's a what? Aw, that's cute. Well, I'm not gonna plant anything yet. Uh, let's take this. These to mine ores. And let's take this cute little shell axe. Oh, they give you a fishing rod and two- what is this? Root vegetables. Can I- can I, like, just- is this something I can plant? Like, a root vegetable? Can I, like, plant it and get two later? It's an ingredient. 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 Not edible. Thank you. It's probably, like, a item or something. Okay, and then can I- can I scroll through? Not well. Oh, this- oh. My scroll wheel doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. Oh, okay. No, no. I gotta scroll twice. I have to... My scroll wheel has to click twice in order to do it. Or else it won't do it. And then how do I... How do I do? How, how does one... Oh, I guess I don't... I guess that's for tree chopping. Oh, there we go. So I have to... Oh, I have to physically pick that up. That's a bit of a... Silly. That's a bit of a silly. Alright, so this is definitely going to be a time-consuming thing. I might do this one off-camera then. Um, so I'm going to finish up here. Uh, I'll finish- yeah, I'll finish up here. Ooh, cool, I got my own little smeltery too. Gosh dang. 
Mayor is a pretty sweet guy if he's just handing me all this land. Or he plans to use me in some other way. Like a Magnus hunter of some kind. Anyway, I'll leave it here. See you guys next time. Uh, I'm going to try to have this uploaded as soon as possible. Uh, I.e. Monday. Um, I might end up just being a Thursday content, though. I, I can't promise anything. I, I would like to say thank you. Alright, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!